If you have certain bacterial infections, you might be able to treat it with an antibiotic. One common and affordable antibiotic is called azithromycin. Here's what you need to know if you've been prescribed this medication. Bacteria usually makes copies of themselves in the body, and this overgrowth creates an infection. Azithromycin works by stopping the bacteria from making important proteins it needs to grow. This prevents them from growing and spreading in your body. This gives your immune system a chance to fight off the infection. Azithromycin can treat a wide range of bacterial infections. This includes pneumonia, chlamydia, gonorrhea, strep throat, and infections of the middle ear, sinuses, skin, and more. Usually, azithromycin comes as an oral pill. You generally take it once a day. It might be a single one-time dose, or you might take it for up to five days. This depends on what kind of infection you have. This medication comes in many other formulations, such as oral liquids for people who have difficulty swallowing pills. For certain infections, you will take a higher dose of the pill on the first day. If you're being treated for an infection that needs this type of dosing, like pneumonia, your provider will commonly prescribe you a convenient pack that tells you the exact dose you need on each day. It's also important to keep taking all of the doses you've been prescribed, even if you start feeling better. If you stop before finishing the full course of azithromycin, the infection could return and be more difficult to fight off in the future. Your prescriber can give you more information about how long to take it and at what dose. Your prescriber is the person who wrote you the prescription. This may be your primary care doctor, nurse practitioner, physician's assistant, or a medical specialist. They'll work with you and your pharmacist to form your care team. Your prescriber knows your health history, so they know how the medication will help meet your treatment goals and how it might affect other parts of your health. Both your prescriber and your pharmacist can answer your questions about side effects, which may include diarrhea, nausea, and stomach pain. You can take azithromycin with or without food. Taking it with food can help lessen certain side effects, like upset stomach. Talk to your prescriber about potentially taking a probiotic with your azithromycin, which could help with diarrhea. Don't be afraid to ask your pharmacist or provider about affordability. These days, there are many options for cheaper ways to get your medication.